Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number nine of Autodesk Fusion. All right, today we're working on circular pattern and uh, some other neat features that we're gonna do in there. Sorry for that loud uh, crash there through my folder. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and hop on over. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that this file that we're gonna be looking at today. We're making that rim from your um, Automoblox set just the simple design and one of those activities that they have you make. Um, I'm gonna do this however using only two extrusions and try to make this as simple as possible that I can. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do um, is make that inside body. If we notice, it's just two circles um, that are extruded. So I need four circles in total. And so what I'm gonna do is hit the C key make my inside part of my rim just a little bit thicker, and then make that outside part as well. Now I know I'm not doing this to dimension. Um, I don't have those dimensions on me right now, but it's gonna be the same thing. You just make sure you dimension your circles before you start extruding. So I'm gonna click on both of those circles, and I'm gonna extrude them out some distance. Uh, 30 looks okay, it looks proportionate. Alrighty, uh, so I've already got my inside piece there, and I've only technically done one extrusion with one sketch. So I'm going to start another sketch, and I'm going to make my rim. Now, my rim is going to be a little bit interesting because I have this semicircle pattern here where it's going to rotate around. We're going to do a circular pattern there. So how do I do that exactly? Well, the first circle I'm going to do is going to go from the inside right there, and I'm gonna do another circle to the outside right there. So what I can do right now is actually I can make this body disappear so you can see this just a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my first circle up here and give it some dimension. I'm gonna use the trim function. So I'm gonna come down here and, or so there it is, trim. And I'm gonna trim away the parts of the circle that I do not need. All right. Now we're gonna do is this, this different thing we've talked about, we haven't talked about yet, circular pattern. So I'm gonna click on circular pattern. It's gonna ask, what exactly do I want to rotate? And I'm gonna select the geometry that I wanna rotate is that semicircle design. I'm gonna then click center point, and then where I want to rotate it about. Now, we, if we go back to our rim, it has five of those indentations and then we're going to then click OK. All right I'm gonna have to do some more trimming and go ahead and get rid of these other sections as well. Oh, wrong piece let's try that again. Trim mm -hmm. there we go. Trim, trim and there we go. Hit finish sketch. I'm gonna put the click that visible icon so I can see this again. And then I'm gonna click extrude that center piece and bring it out just a hair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we did as far as using that circular pattern. Um, if you need to look at it again, you can rewind the video, um, but that's gonna be it for today. I did make my go ahead and make my wheel out of um, my material. So I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, click physical material, and, and since this belongs to an Audible Box kit, we're gonna make it out of ABS plastic. All right. But uh, it doesn't have the color of that plastic. It has the, uh, the color of actual rim. So I'm gonna highlight the whole thing again. Actually hit escape. Highlight the whole thing again. And go to appearance. Now that means I'm going for the color of what it's gonna look like. So let's use steel. Um, stainless steel brush, that looks wonderful. Alrighty. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a plastic part made to look like steel, and it looks like an atomic blocks rim. Okay guys, if you got any questions, let me know, and I will see you on the next video.